The Colossi of Memnon are two massive stone statues of the pharaoh Amenhotep III that have been standing in front of the Theban necropolis just west of the Nile River and the city of Luxor for the past 3,400 years, since 1350 BC. Amenhotep reigned in Egypt during the 18th dynasty. The twin statues show Amenhotep in a seated position facing east towards the river. They're situated approximately 50 feet apart from each other. There are two smaller figures carved in front of his throne. They are of his mother Tai and his wife Mudumwaya. The statues are made from blocks of quartzite sandstone reach 60 feet in height and weigh over 720 tons apiece. The quartzite sandstone blocks were quarried at El Gabal El Amar, which is near modern-day Cairo, and they were transported overland to Thebes, now known as Luxor, as they were too heavy to have been transported upstream on the Nile. That's over 420 miles of transporting megalithic blocks that weighed over 1,440 tons. The statues were originally constructed to stand guard over Amenhotep's memorial temple, an astonishing complex that covered over 86 acres and at the time was the most opulent in Egypt, as it was there that Amenhotep was worshipped as a god on earth both before and after his death. The North Statue and eventually the entire necropolis became known as the Colossus of Memnon, which means the steadfast or resolute, after Memnon, who was the son of Eos, the goddess of dawn, a king of Ethiopia and a hero of the Trojan War, was slain by Achilles when he led his armies from Africa to Asia Minor. The North Statue has been reported to cry or sing at dawn, and that is how the name became associated. Legends say that the vocal Memnon is a harbinger of good luck. The statues also became known as powerful oracles and in their day the site was heavily visited. Among those visitors were several Roman emperors. The earliest reports of the vocal Memnon were from an ancient Greek historian and geographer named Strabo who claimed to hear the sound as early as 20 BC. By then it was widely known about though with many having described it as sounding like a blow or the string of a lyre breaking. At the base of the statue are 90 surviving inscriptions from tourists reporting on whether they had heard the sound or not. There have been several theories put forth about the vocal Memnon, the primary two being man-made, possibly some sort of advanced ancient sound technology used by ancient builders, or natural. If natural, a potential source of the sound could be rising temperatures causing the evaporation of dew inside the porous rock. It is interesting to note, however, that similar sounds have been heard from some of the other Egyptian monuments, with Karnak being the site most often reported to have made them in modern days. Could these ancient monuments contain some sort of ancient advanced sound technology that is still functioning today on some level? Ancient civilizations were familiar with and often incorporated sophisticated sound technologies into some of their structures, and there has been talk of ancient voice-activated technology being discovered at some ancient Egyptian sites. It's certainly interesting to think about. As always, thanks for watching. Please take a moment to like, comment, and subscribe.